everybody. Amanda Birmingham from superfunscience.com and I'm here with Tony Gines from the Breath of Life Herbal Distributors. Hi Amanda, how you doing? Doing great, although this is a really, really achy picture that you're holding here. Can you tell us about this? Yeah, these are some pictures of some of my favorite friends. I mean, we love killing these things. These are actually parasites that live in the body. Um, they take up home in the body and uh, they can cause havoc in the body. And it seems to be a big thing in the news today. Bacteriums, parasites, things of this nature. Very big. Very Well, they affect everything, right? They affect everything in the body. Well, how does that happen? Well, um, poor hygiene habits. Um, different things like running around in the grass without socks and shoes. You can catch parasites through the feet. Really? That's sure. so gross. <laughs> I do that a lot. I guess I'd better stop. <laughs> Probably a good idea, I mean. Oh my goodness, I, I would have never thought that you can get it through the pores of your feet. I thought it was only food, through food. Well, what happens is uh, the bird the bird flies down, drops his droppings, or the animals drop their droppings. You know, all the feces have parasites in it. The true host of a parasite is really a snail. Um, parasites seem to be infecting the large parts of the body. It's the thing that when they come outside of the intestine or live outside of the intestine, they cause havoc in the body. Uh, that's when you start having like health problems, right? Some people do have health problems. Um, government statistics states that 85% of the American population is infected with parasites. Um, this seems to be a very big problem that's not being addressed today. Is there a test you could take? <laughs> yeah, there are some tests that you can take. You can go to your doctor and there's 80, I believe there's 85 different species that oh. they can test for. But there's literally hundreds of different species or thousands of different species that can live in the body. I um, read something recently uh, on the internet. There's 1,100 species that are, haven't even been named yet. Oh my goodness. That's, different parasites that can live in the body. That's just disgusting. I mean, this thing is so scary. This, this is actually a hookworm. Uh, this is a pretty common worm. The hookworm seems to latch on the lining of the stomach. Okay. They're kind of like vampires. They suck out blood. Remember, parasites, anything that lives in your body or on your body that competes for what you put in your body, vitamins, nutrients, um, all the good things that we put in our bodies, they live very quietly, Amanda. Mm -hmm. um, their job is to survive. They've been a survivor for thousands of years. They live in the body very quietly. They reproduce, they're constantly reproducing. It's their excrement that uh, makes us sick in the body, causes a lot of bacteria in the body. So how would you know if you had parasites? Well, sometimes you just can have a lot of symptoms. Um, different things like pain in the stomach, um, very irritable, change of appetite, skin problems, uh, just different things of that nature. Hmm. Well, there you have it. Parasites, gross. <laughs> but, um, but um, you know, they're there and be aware yeah. that, you know, what they do. Um, I mean, they're just trying to survive, but there are ways that you can get rid of them. Well, Amanda, the true, the true host of a parasite is a snail, not a human being. Huh. And this seems to be a problem, not only in this country, but all over the world. That really is. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, a lot of things happen in the body. A lot of people that have uh, very loose bowel movements, such as diarrhea, which is good, not in a third world country, or having it for a very long time, but your body will push parasites out of your system by having diarrhea. Well, that's good. No, at least there's one good reason for diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> what, do, what do we do? We we go out and get the pink stuff and <laughs> modium, and we kind of stop the body from pushing this junk out of the body. No, I mean, it's, it's really important. I mean, the body knows what the body needs. Absolutely. And when there's something foreign, there's nothing much more foreign than that. Yep. In your body, it's your body's going to say no and get rid of it. Now, these guys right here, these are the round worms. Okay, we get this from a lot of meat that we eat. Especially the beef. A lot of, um, like, you find a lot of dogs and cats with round worms. With round worms, yeah. absolutely. Um, these are pinworms. Um, a lot of children have pinworms. So you little yeah. kids out there, remember to wash your hands, especially when you're playing in the dirt. Yes. Good hygiene is a good way to prevent uh, having you know, these parasites or transporting or transporting to one another these parasites. Yeah, who wants to eat for these guys, you know? I mean, Absolutely you have to eat more not. food so that they can eat too. It's just, you know. This guy right here is a tapeworm, and he can grow as long as your intestine. How long do your intestines go? The intestines are 40 feet, so you can just roll them out. It's like having a water hose that you can just roll out. Well, these guys can live up to uh, many years, 30 years in your body. 
And all they do is lay eggs. It's a great These visual of oh, this right thing here. like a water hose, you know, like the stretch out. You know? Well, this guy can make you really sick, and he's pretty hard. He's pretty hard to take him out. Oh, God, that's, that's not But good. most parasites, they hate the bitter herbs. It's the bitter herbs that they really dislike. So start eating more salads with, uh, with well, dandelion in it? Well, <laughs> yeah. eat some salad with dandelion, but that's where a lot of the problems are, in the yeah. salad. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there you, you go. really got to wash true. your fruit and vegetables. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can do to really knock this stuff out. Well, great. Thank you so much for your time, Tony. Well, you're quite welcome. Wash great your hands. Great talking to you. Yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> sure.